I'm, I'm unemployed at the moment, but I'm a member of the Nanita Socialist Party, and I'm proud to say that our members in the Socialist Party, along with other people, have been, been key in organising uh, this strike today. Um, organising the pickets across Nanita and today's rally uh, here. Now, from the very beginning of this financial crisis, and certainly since the condemned government announced their austerity plans, the Socialist Party has been calling for a one-day uh, general strike in across the public sector. Um, we've worked with local trade unionists, local anti-cuts activists. Uh, we took part in the 26th of March demonstration, the big CUC demonstration, uh, the largest one for generations. We thought that was six months too late, but we were pleased to support it. We were very pleased to support strikers out on the 30th of June. And we were um, very pleased and happy to support the Jarrow marches when they came through Dunedin in October. Um, so one of the key things that the Socialist Party from the Neaton has done is that we took part in the National Trumpet Jews Network lobby of the TUC back in uh, October when there were 700 rank and file union activists caucusing with Bob Crow and Mark Sorocca before they went in to meet with the TUC executive. We were there to give them some backbone, they were there to give the TUC, TUC some backbone. Um, but the key there is that without the rank and file uh, support and the lively demos that we put together, uh, we might not be here today, and we might be here in smaller numbers. But we are here. There's two, possibly three million people uh, out on strike today. Biggest strike in decades. People talk about the biggest strike since the general strike in 1926. Uh, people are asking what comes next. The Socialist Party will continue to call for unions, individually and the TUC collectively, to join the fight back against the condemned government. Uh, not just on pensions, but on job cuts, on benefit cuts, on attacks on the NHS, youth unemployment, homelessness. And more than ever, working people need to demonstrate, huh? need to oh, need yeah. their own democratic yeah. fighting Based union, uh, answerable to the rank and file, mm. to organise a coherent fight back against the entire austerity programme. Starting with its key political idea that working people should be forced to pay for the financial crisis caused by the bankers' fraud, their speculation and their greed. Now that's the fundamental sticking point. And the unions need to be making that political argument on behalf of workers because uh, the Labour Party won. The Labour Party, which was supposed to be the political wing of the Labour movement and is still funded by the three large trade unions, uh, could only promise the workers will get cuts worse than Thatcher or cuts that are somehow slower than the cuts that are currently going through. Now this is an argument that we... Um, they still accept the argument that workers should pay for the crisis and that we should pay for it through pay cuts, through VAT rises, through pension cuts. Um, now. Why did the Labour Party say that? Because they're no longer a workers' party, they're basically another big business party. And like in America now, the Republicans and the Democrats, what's that, what the political situation in the UK looks more and more like a two-faced, one-party state. Because all the main establishment parties agree on the same thing. So as I say, Labour didn't support the 26th of March demonstration, they didn't support the 30th of June strike, they didn't support Jarro, and they've condemned today's strike. If the Labour Party leadership and Labour Party MPs can't come out and support ordinary working people, what are they for? Now, despite this, or because of this, I think, the abandonment by Labour today strikes the, the, an amazing really, reawakening and revitalisation of the best traditions of the organised working class. Workers are taking action despite or because of the lack of leadership by the Labour Party and some union leaders. Now, in the current situation, the arena of struggle against the condemned austerity is the public sector, where unions can and should take a political lead, as we do through the uh, National Shop Stewards Network with the Anti-Cuts campaign, but as the crisis widens, and you see this already because electricians who work in the private sector are being forced into taking industrial action because they're facing cuts of 35% to nationally agreed wage rates. As this crisis grows, there's going to be a growing need for workers to find new political representation capable of uh, expressing their own point of view without settling to the compromises. Now here in the meeting and across the UK, the Socialist Party will be standing candidates in the local elections in May. Uh, we stand as part of the trade union and socialist coalition and it's possible um, to register as an anti-cuts candidate. So we would encourage as many trade unionists, ordinary workers, anybody who cares about the anti-cuts struggle, to join with us, not necessarily join the party, but join us in the, in the electoral coalition, stand some anti-cuts candidates in the meeting, which shows that there is an alternative. I've got one final point really, which is relevant to the meeting, which I thought I should say, which is as regards to the EDL, uh, the English Defence League, because just over a year ago, members of the Socialist Party uh, worked with other left groups, even some members of the Labour Party, local trade unionists and local youth who took up the traditions of anti-fascism and we organised a series of public meetings in 
and public counter demonstrations against the English Defence League. I won't refight that battle again. What I will say is, as far as we understand it, some of them got turned over by the borough and they haven't been back to the league since. But what has happened is that in recent days and weeks, the EDL, the English Defence League, has the mask has finally slipped. They're no longer talking about Muslims, they're no longer talking about cultural immigration. They're now quite clear that the purpose of the English Defence League is to destroy the organisations of the working class. They are threatening and they have already attacked trade unionists. They've already threatened and have a, tried to attack the Occupy movement in London. Uh, uh, they've threatened and tried to attack anti-cut groups across the country. So, I think we all need to be aware of the... <coughs> of the potential they have to confuse people in the current situation, but they clearly have no alternative. So I just want to say, um, thanks very much for coming out today. Hope to see you for the social in the pig and whistle. There is a meeting in Coventry tonight for the National Club Stewards Network. And um, if you like the kind of politics you've learned, heard talked here today, come and talk to us, pick up a copy of our paper, some of our leaflets, and help us build a fight back against the condemn authority programme here in the league. Thanks very much. Sort of quick one from me, we've had a message of solidarity from Warwickshire Fire Brigade Union. Uh, not on strike today, but they're with us in spirit. I just want to say thank you to uh, the Unite branch at the Neaton and Bedworth Council, uh, Unison branch at the Neaton and Bedworth Council, GMB branch at the Neaton and Bedworth Council, Warwickshire Ca Council Unison branch, which is my branch, uh, the NAPO representatives, North Warwickshire Unison. And we've got, sorry, we've got another person who'd like to speak for. Uh, I'll send you over. Brothers and sisters, I'm pleased to speak to you today. My name's Sarah Chapman and I'm from NAPA, the Trade Union for Probation and Family Court Staff. We're proud to stand today shoulder to shoulder with our brothers and sisters in the trade union movement and stand up to this government and say that actually we won't accept public sector cuts and we won't accept cap on our pension. Um, thank you for being here today and being out on the right. Thanks very much, and I forgot to mention the all important NUT members uh, that have come with us today as well. Um, PCS as well. I was getting there. PCS as well. Maybe more than one. Okay, so if there's nobody else who wants to speak, anybody else? Okay, uh, I've got a good authority that the buffet is being warmed uh, at the pig and whistle, so I shall see you there for some food. Beers and soft drinks. So, I'm going to go around that way. See you in a minute.